The old Jamaica estate in Bermondsey might not look much like a tech hub, but in a microbrewery under a railway arch, a tiny tech company is using artificial intelligence to brew better beer. Intelligent X is the first company to use artificial intelligence and machine learning in the brewing process. Customers are asked to submit feedback on their beer, with this data being used to constantly refine the beer's recipe. Intelligent X beers should get better over time, but as founders Hugh Leith and Rob McInerney told me, they're already seeing results. It's going amazingly well. We've had fantastic reaction to our AI beer. In fact, we're sold out here in Ubrew, uh, and we're creating a massive email database of customers that really want to be involved in the iteration of our product. Before you'd have these big brands who would just advertise at you, you'd drink it, and that would be the end of their communication. There's no two-way there. What we like, and what our customers are saying they like, is actually being involved in the brand and being able to guide it in a particular direction that suits them. The bottom line for Intelligent X is this beer is always evolving. There will never be a point where we say, yep, that's it, we've got the perfect beer. And we're just taking on our customers on this journey. And so what that means is every time we've created a new beer, uh, we don't need that recipe anymore because we're evolving onto the next version. We're constantly moving forward. We think this can absolutely scale. I mean, at the moment, we're doing it on small volumes, but the amount of demand that we've had from customers shows us that there's a massive opportunity to scale this and to brew bigger batches. And the beauty of having beer is that it's a perfect business model to actually create larger batches and iterate and learn from what you're doing. So absolutely, we think we can scale this business, but not just in beer. If you think about you know, using machine learning in consumer products, when you think about all these emotive products where we've got views and opinions on things like coffee, perfume, chocolate, we think you know, this could be the start of a machine learning revolution in consumer products in general. Hugh's the man behind the branding of Intelligent X, but Rob McKinney is the one behind the technology. Once the brewers kind of experience, they're able to kind of try things out, try different recipes and really experiment uh, and see what happens. You know, a lot, of, a lot of creating new things is just exploration. And the really interesting thing here is that we're bringing in all the customers as well to join in that kind of teaching and learning experience. So whereas the brewers was, you know, would traditionally kind of learn from uh, a master brewer or just a few of his friends, uh, they can now learn at the same time with all their customers as well. And that's what we talk about when we're saying putting everyone in the same room. We're basically using the AI to have conversations with lots of people at the same time. The AI is there to kind of work out what questions and how should we be interacting with the user, both to be engaging to the user, but also to um, get the information that we want to put into the algorithm. The second part of it is understanding what that information, how that information translates into a real beer recipe and an improvement in beer recipes and so some people might give not particularly good feedback some people will give fantastic feedback and the artificial intelligence is there to determine which feedback is useful which is not so useful the methodology we use is something called Bayesian optimization Bayesian decision making and what that's really designed to do is handle information very efficiently small amounts of data presents us with uncertainty uncertainty in predictions uncertainty in the model um, and we have to manage that and that's what the algorithms are really all about but other than that yeah, the hope is that this will generalise to general consumer products, physical products that will adapt as people use them more. So the beer's clever, but how does it taste? We sat down exponential investor publisher Nick O'Connor and Money Week staff writer Sarah Moore to find out. To our AI overlords. <laughs> it's, it's, mm. That's quite nice. It, it nice. tastes almost, uh, almost like wheat beer. Sort yeah. of slightly Germanic. I think it tastes like beers you get in like Thailand and India and stuff. It's six point five percent as well, which What's well, that, if like? that's based on a consensus of lots of people, I would suggest most of the people that have been feeding back to the company are of the hipster variety because no one's keeping it session with a six point five percent. I wouldn't be able to tell you that it tastes definitively different to human brewed or human uh, than if it was created kind of, by a human yeah. and not a computer. But it's certainly pretty tasty. And given the fact that it has the kind of novelty value of being yeah. put together by a machine, I, would, I suppose it's a fairly good effort. And if we apply what we know about robotics and AI and assume that given Moore's law, it will continue to improve yeah. over the next 20 years, what happens if it gets exponentially better over the next 20 years? How good is it going to be then? How strong is it going to be then? Be a 20% lager. It tastes quite chemically, 
Oh my, is that just me not drinking enough beer? Um, it's pretty, I don't know if that's it's the pretty strength. strong. Yeah. It's pretty strong. It is good. It's a, I don't know, a slight chemically undertone, but that might just be me. Presumably they're going to take all of this feedback on this film and put it back into the algorithm. Mm. So version 0.09 will be... Less chemically. Less chemically. Yeah. <laughs> weaker. It'll basically be a Foster's. <laughs>